Good evening. Hi, Juan Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good. How are you, Natalie? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, very good. Hi, Amber. Are you there? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, nice. How do you say, con un poco de sueño? A bit sleepy? A bit sleepy. A bit. A bit sleepy, you can say. Ah, or okay. a little bit sleepy. Okay. No, don't say that, please. I don't want you to fall asleep in my class. All right? <laughs> All right. So, Amber, uh, you had the question about the ABBA song, right? Yes. Dig in. Yeah. Uh, I was... That word is like spinning in my head. Esa palabra andaba como dando vueltas en mi cabeza. That word is like spinning in my head. Uh, dig in. Dig in with the dancing queen is the phrase, right? Dig in with the dancing queen. It's like, agárrate fuerte. Supposedly you are dancing, right? With the dancing queen. So you say, it's like, agárrate fuerte. Okay? That would be like the, the best translation, right? Sería como la mejor traducción. Like the best translation for it. Pero... En el caso de esa palabra, teacher, eh, se hace la traducción en el contexto que, que está dando. Yes, it's right. It's right. Yeah, because the word itself, digging is like lavarse in the, the literal translation. But just to make sense, para darle un poco de sentido, just to make sense, you better say, because of the context, por el contexto en el, en el que está la palabra, begin with the dancing queen, begin the dancing queen, it's like agárrate fuerte, it's like, you are dancing closely, están como bailando así bien pegaditos, cercanamente. So that would be the best translation. Esa veo yo que sería la mejor traducción. Ya puedes dedicar esa canción entonces, hombre. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Es que All right. eh, escuché, no problem. Esa, escuché esa palabra y como no le encontraba una lógica, la andaba igual yo en la mente y que hasta que encontrara cuál era el significado. Yeah, that, that's the meaning. Now you know. All right. Now you know. All right. Uh, Welcome, Luis Alejandro. It's good to see you. Bueno verde. It's good to see you in the class. Thank you, teacher. All right. Very good. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. That's oh, good. That's excellent. Well, let me see who else is connected. Oh, Luis Ricardo, right? Hi, Luis Ricardo. How are you? Good evening. I find thank you, teacher. Oh, nice. That's very good. Uh, do you know other ways to ask how are you? Saben otra forma de preguntar how are you? Not how are you. Other other ways. Otra formas. Other ways. He oído que ocupan bastante WhatsApp. No sé. Hey, WhatsApp. Yes, WhatsApp. It's it's okay, but it's informal. It's informal. Ah, informal. In a friend's context, in a context of the amigos, hey, what's up? All right? Or you have confidence, I confidence, or you have confidence, all right? And the answer is, pero si me preguntan, hey, what's up? Ah, very good, thank you. Y no sería la respuesta, right? Si dicen, hey, what's up? You say, ah, oh, not much. No mucho, todo tranquilo, not much. The answer, la respuesta, no. what's up? Ah, oh, not much. No. And then you Siempre formal. Say, Yes, y luego, y luego se puede agregar algo. You can say, for, for example, hey, what's up? Oh, not much. I'm just doing homework or just working. That's it. Mm -hmm. para, para, para complementar, just to complement, okay? Other way, otra forma, any other way? What is heard? new? What's new, exactly. Hey, what's, what's new? new? What's new? Que de nuevo, creo que significa. Yes, what's new? Okay, no, what's new? Hey, what's new? Oh, nothing much. You can say, no mucho, nothing much. Right, nothing much. What's the matter? Ah, what's the matter? But what's the matter is like, <laughs> I feel it's more like there's a problem, all right? Hey, what's the matter? All right, what's like, what's the problem, all right? There's a problem going on. You say, what's the matter? You decimos, what's the matter, okay? Tal vez podría ser. Sorry? Uh, where is the mean? Oh, what's the matter? It's like, what is the problem? Okay, what's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? Juan Carlos. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I can be Juan Carlos. What's the matter? I There's one, I don't know, para preguntar, how are you? 
Eh, ya bien común. It's how are you doing? How are you doing? You say, hey, how are you doing? Oh, very good, thank you. Or very well, thank you. And you, all right? So how are you doing? That's, that's frequent. Yes, it's frequent. That's frequent, okay? Good. So welcome, everybody. Bienvenidos. Welcome, everybody. Gracias. To this class. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So um, basically, basically, we are in half of the week. Estamos en mitad de la semana. We are in half of the week. Ya solo nos queda una semana para terminar el módulo. So just motivate you to, to continue, right? Solo motivarles a que continuemos. Sé que no es fácil. A veces algunos llegan bien cansados y a pesar de eso hacen el esfuerzo, okay? I just want to, to say um, effort pays back. El esfuerzo te recompensa. Effort pays back. I'm sure about that. De eso estoy seguro. Effort pays back. All right? So welcome, bienvenidos. Welcome to this uh, session. For today, we have different activities. And in the activities uh, we have, for today, we have four breakout rooms. So in four activities, you will work in teams. In cuatro actividades van a trabajar en equipo. You will work in teams in four activities, okay? And we have some, some important things like grammar, like to tell the time, como decir la hora, what time is it? What time do you start to work? Or what time do you go to, to work? Yeah. So we have like, what time today? Okay, como decir la hora? How to tell time? Okay, so let's begin, empecemos, let's begin. Uh, just to begin, para empezar to begin, I want you to think about questions for the teacher. I want you to think about questions for them, for the teacher. Quiero que piensen en preguntas para mí. Al menos escriban dos preguntas, write the questions, and then you ask me. Y luego me las hacen, okay? Taking turns, tomando turnos. Just to give you one example, it can be, puede ser usando what, when, where, who, why. O puede ser usando la pregunta directamente, like do you. For example, you can say, hey teacher, um, do you give classes in the morning? Or, hey teacher, um, what time do you have breakfast? Or you can say, hey teacher, uh, where do you work? Or when do you teach English? Or I don't know, ask, ask me any questions. Or, or maybe it can be about my family. Puede ser acerca de mi familia. It can be, for example, um, when does your sister work? Or when does your mother, um, what? Study English, for example, yeah? So write two questions for me. Escriban dos preguntas que me van a preguntar, okay? Two questions. So I give you like two or three minutes, dos or three minutes, two or three minutes. And then you ask me the questions. Okay, write the questions, two. At least two, can be three, no problem, okay? Two or three. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening, Jefferson. Jefferson. Estoy en el trabajo, teacher. Sorry? Estoy en el trabajo. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Pero so you will oyente. be only, only a listener. Solo, solo, de, solo escuchando, right? Only listening. Gracias, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you for connecting. Roxana, you have the private session today, all right? Hi, good evening. You have the private session today, yeah? So your questions will be solved today, yeah? Okay, two questions or three questions, no more. For me, right? Two or three questions for me. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Very fine. Oh, no, me acabo, me acabo de conectar, no sé en qué están trabajando, teacher. Um, right now, you are writing questions for the teacher. Están haciendo dos preguntas que le van a hacer al profesor. Can be any question, like, okay. does uh, your sister work at a company or does your sister travel to New York? I don't know, any question, yeah. When do you work, for example, or 
What does your mother do? When does your mother work? I don't know, any question for the teacher, yeah? Okay, thank you. All right. Tráeme la agüita. Mi botón y yo. Are you ready? Kind of, I see Jenny writing the question and Wendy Natalie too, right? <laughs> writing the questions in this moment. All right. Just two or three, okay, no more. It can be questions about me, about my family, about my sisters, my brother, my wife, my son, my colleagues, yeah, my boss. The idea is that you practice questions, right? Because we have studied questions. Hemos estudiado preguntas. We have studied questions in the simple present. So the idea is that you practice questions in the simple present. That's the main idea. All right, in the meantime, I will start passing the attendance. Mientras se están trabajando, voy a pasar la asistencia. I will take advantage. All right, let's see. Um, Abigail is connected, not yet. She said that she was late. Okay, Brenda? Okay, uh, Edgar? I'm here. Perfect. Ember? Yes, right. Hazel? I'm here. All right. Ember is, yeah, Ember is fine. He's working. All right, Jacqueline? I'm here. Perfect. I'm here. Jefferson is connected to Jennifer. I'm here. Perfect. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Jessica? I'm here. Oh, excellent. Uh, let's see, Lloyd and Nisi. Oh, excellent, Luis Alejandro. Yes, you're right. Luis Ricardo? I'm here. Oh, okay, perfect. Maria Elena? I'm here. Good. Nancy? Oh, Nancy hasn't connected yet. He's weird. Okay, let's see, Nelson? I'm here. Good. Uh, Roxana. Wendy Nathan. Here. All right, perfect. I am Wendy. here, teacher. Thank you. Jessenia. I am here. And Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. Thanks God everyone is connected early. Todos están conectados temprano, except. Abigail, but she asked for permission. And Maria, and let me see here. And Nancy, right? Que no avisó. She didn't say anything. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, let's see. Um, so any volunteers to ask the questions? Volunteers? Remember, the questions are for me. Okay, the questions are for me. Okay, let's see Luis Ricardo. Uh... Where do you work? I work at a public school, Inglés Corporativo, and Universidad de Oriente. Okay. Second question is, when do you teach English classes? Oh, I teach English 
in the morning and at night. In the morning and at night. Monday to Saturday. Ah, okay. Yeah, from Monday and to Saturday. The question is, what time do you start work? I start work at 7.30 in the morning. At 7.30, all right? Seven? Okay. 30, right? okay seven and a half, okay. Okay, thank you, Luis Ricardo. Very thank good. You. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Okay, let's see Jocelyn and then Natalie. Jocelyn and then Natalie, okay? So Jocelyn right now. Okay. Uh, which do you is favorite? My favorite what? Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, oh, see, 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 see. Which do you color is favorite? Ah, which color is your favorite? All right. My favorite color is green. Green is my favorite color. Oh, you look you. <laughs> That's like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you listen to music? Yes, I do. I love listening to music. Music is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, okay. one of my passions because I have different passions, okay? But music is my passion. Continue. Do you have one more question or only two? Uh, yes, yes. Oh. Eh, no sé si la hice bien, pero es que when beard die, beard die, when? Ah, uh, yeah. Beard when die. is, the question is, when is your birthday? Repeat the question. Okay. When is your beard die? Oh, my birthday yes. is on September 15th. September 15th, oh. Independence Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Jocelyn. Very good. Good questions. I like your patience. And now let's listen to Natalie. Uh, teacher, where did you learn English? I learned English at the university. <laughs> yes. Uh, how many job do you have? Okay, I am, the, maybe the, the question would be, how old are you? La pregunta sería, how, I understand your question, okay? But the, the best question is, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old are you? Uh, no, 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 it's how many jobs? Oh, jobs, do you sorry, have? how many jobs do you have? Oh my God, uh -huh. I'm sorry, I misunderstood the question. All right, so I have, Three jobs. I have three jobs, but I love teaching. All my jobs are about teaching, and <laughs> teaching is my passion. Teaching is my passion, all right? La enseñanza es mi pasión también. Teaching is my passion. Okay. Uh, how much is your salary? Oh my God, that's... <laughs> 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 Let me see, like... <clears throat> It's uh, about that, that's a, uh, oh my God. <laughs> it's about um, like 1,900, putting all together. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Okay, thank you, Natalie. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, one more, uno más, one more. Okay, let's listen to Jessica. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, teacher, where are you from? Uh, I am from, Jocuaitique, Morazán, El Salvador. Okay. Just from the north part. Uh, how many groups of students do you attend in the day? In the day? Two groups. Okay. One group at a public school and one group in this group, sorry, in this group. All right. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Um, how many languages uh, can, can he speak? I speak two languages, Spanish and English, and I and I speak a little French. I just practice in Duolingo, okay, French. <laughs> sometimes, not every day, sometimes, all right? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, thank you, Jessica Lourdes. Okay, the last questions. Uh, Jacqueline, I guess, Jacqueline, what need to participate? <laughs> the microphone, Jacqueline. The microphone, yeah. yeah. What time does you speak English? Can you repeat the question, please? 
Yo había colocado, where do you work? No sé si está bien. Um, yeah. Five years ago. Where did you work five years ago? Let me, let me go back. Let me go back to the to, to past. Let me look back. Five years ago, I worked at Superate. Superate, Superate is a program. Okay, Superate, at Superate program. Yeah. In English? Yes, teaching English. Y la otra había colocado, what do you think about the class? Oh, this class? Yes. Oh, I think this class is beautiful. I love this class. I really like this class. <laughs> Any other question, Jacqueline, or only? Es que no sé si estará bien la otra. Yo había puesto, what? I does you speak English? Can you repeat it, please? What time does what I does you speak English? Oh, okay. Uh, no, so is what time does you or what time do you? You. Uh, do you? Do you? Or do you? What time do you? Okay. Now repeat the question. What time do you speak English? I speak English all the time. In my mind, I think in English. <laughs> I speak in English with my wife sometimes. I speak in English with my students. So I speak in English almost all the time. Casi todo el tiempo. All, almost all the time. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so I repeat. Uh, the idea of this activity is that you practice questions in the simple present. Okay. And, and of course, to get to know about me, Isabel un poquito acerca de mí, to get to know about me a little bit. All right, let's go to the to activity, <clears throat> activity number two, sorry. In activity number two, we will have breakout rooms, yeah? And let me show you here. Um, let me show you here something, okay. So listen, in activity number two, look at this. You need to create a conversation with two partners about their daily activities at work. So you need to make a conversation in groups of three and equipo de tres, like this. You can start like this, pueden empezar así. What do you do on weekdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? What do you do on weekdays? Ah, you say, I start work at seven o'clock or nine o'clock. I prepare the machines and you speak about your activities. Y hablan de sus actividades. Luego la tercera persona o el tercer miembro del equipo says, wow, when does your, super, your supervisor, you, you can say manager too, también pueden decir manager. When does your manager or supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, you can say he or she, I don't know, checks once a month or maybe you can say every day or once a week, una vez a la semana. I don't know, it's you, right? And what about you? What do you do? Y la siguiente persona continúa hablando acerca de sus actividades, about your duties, acerca de sus tareas, yeah? So this conversation is on page 32. Está en la página 32. It's on page 32, exercise six, ejercicio six. So you make your own conversation. Van a hacer su propia Conversación. You will make your own conversation in groups of three and a keep the press. Is it clear what you have to do? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah? It's about your activity. Sorry? ¿En qué página? Page 32. Página 32. Page 32. Let me, co let me corroborate. Yes. Page 32. Exercise 6. Yeah. Did you find it? Did you find it? Yeah. Okay. Listen, just before we go to breakout rooms, antes de que vayamos a breakout rooms, look, the idea when you practice in pairs or in groups is that you practice English. That's the idea. Así que cosas básicas que usan ahí en su equipo, usenlas en inglés. For example, para darles un ejemplo, for example, pueden decir, ahora es tu turno. Now, 
It's your turn. Now, it's your turn. Eso lo podemos decir en inglés. Or maybe, ahora yo inicio. Now you can say, oh, yo inicio. I start. I start. Yo, yo empiezo. I start. Or maybe you can say, repeat, please. Can you repeat, please? So estas cosas básicas podemos usarlas en inglés en el equipo para practicar. Yeah? That's the idea. So in this moment, let's go to break our rooms. Create the conversation and practice the conversation. Create and practice the conversation. All right? Let's go to break our rooms. Any question before? Alguna pregunta antes de que vayamos? Any question before that? No questions? No? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go to break our rooms, please. If you have, I, I start with mm -hmm. the number literal A. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yes. sorry, Jessica. Jessica, sorry. <laughs> I move you because no I, I had a pair here. Aquí solo había una pareja y necesitaba okay. equipo de tres. And you okay. were four. You still have young cuatro. You were four. Yes. Right. No problem, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Loida, you say letter A, letter B, or letter C? Not literal. A okay, letter. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Letter, letter A, letter B, letter C. And I say what? Literal. Literal A, literal B. A literal B. It, yeah. Letter A. Okay. I don't know if it was your Jessica. Realmente it was your Jessica. <laughs> you <laughs> say letter. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. No, Maria, can you, if you have a little A for you, Maria? Ah, um, me first. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, what do you do on? What do you do on weekdays? Weekday. No, merchandise, 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 merchandise. Sí, okay, merchandise. Sorry, Luis Ricardo. Luis Ricardo, sorry because I moved you. Lo siento por muerte de equipo. Pero ustedes habían cuatro oh, y aquí solo habían dos. I had two here, okay? So I needed someone here. <laughs> ya, ya lo incluimos. No okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Ya lo adoptamos. Está bien, está bien. Yeah. <laughs> eh... <laughs> And visit the 14th depart 
departments. Department. Repeat, please. Uh, and visit the 14 departments. Y visit the, the 14 departments. Ajá, yo creí que departamento de deporte, sí. pensé que había dicho porque de no, no. Y que... <laughs> other, but, but the departments of the company or the departments of the country? Country. Ah, the departments of the country. Ah, ok, got it. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, le... Uy, uy, uy. Sí. Eh, Edgar, well, when does your visit the other department on the country? No sé si está bien redactada la, la, la pregunta, teacher. Yo quisiera entender. When do you? Eh, que cuando es que visita. When, ah, when do you? When do you remember? Do is for when do you I visit every day. When do you department. visit? Uh -huh. When do you visit? All when the do you visit? The departments. All, all departments. Yeah. Okay. This game is to say all the, the departments. All the departments. Exactly. Okay. 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 Sí, sí, me he hecho un poco por eso. Ok. Uh, road. 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 Eh, hacer mi rutina diaria, no sé. No, sería I check the road and I verify documents and I try, no sé, ya se va. Vaya, 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 revisar ruta en y verificar los documentos, verify. Verify. Very. Verify. ¿Cómo me pone? Very Verify. Así se escribe, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah. Or you can say check. To check. make it simple. Check documents. Same. Yeah, check. I check documents. It's the same, like revise or verify. And check, and check document. Uh, yeah. Document. Um, bueno, hasta ahí lo podría dejar para no hacerlo muy largo, para también darle oportunidad a ustedes. Solo puedo decir, I study work at 8 o'clock, check router and check document. ¿Verdad? Ahora la C. Uh -huh. Para la C, no, la pregunta de... Bien. Esa pregunta es una pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuál do you do a one a weekend? A weekday, perdón. Siempre contestando esa pregunta. ¿O se tiene que, que colocar ese wow? ¿Puedes dar tu supervisor check? Um, which one? Pero ese es como. Eh, hay un signo de, de admiración, ¿verdad? Pero. Dice, bon, Wow, Ajá. Nosotros, eh, algo así, pero en ese caso, este, como yo contestaría la primera pregunta que hicimos, o no, ahí que... Perdón. No, agarremos siempre de base este, pero ¿qué quiere decir Gon? Perdón. Yo eso wow. no lo puedo. Wow, es admiración. Ajá, pero es una admiración, wow. Uh -huh. Y después dice... Eh, when, when, is, when does you, pero when, creo que es cuando el supervisor vea todo lo que hace. Wow, yeah, cuando, uh -huh. 
Es cierto, es correcto. Es correcto. correcto. Oh, gracias, Saraí. Wow, por decir, cuando el supervisor nos, lo, lo sequea, ¿o qué dice? Nos da todo lo que, lo lo que, que hace. Uh -huh. Lo que hace. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo podría poner entonces ahí, Yesenia? Siempre usa, usamos la palabra esa admiración. ¿Cómo? Your boss, ¿por qué no hay supervisor donde se trabaja? Ah, ok. Solo eso hay que cambiar. Entonces, ¿cómo nos queda? Wow. Wow. Eh, bueno. Check all the things you do. When does. When, when, when does. No, when does. Box. When does. Sí, va, you... jefe, ¿eh? when, ¿Cómo? Your boss. B O S S. Ahí está. Ahí está. Oh my God. Ahí está. Va, sería entonces, perdón, la sed. Ah, when, that's when, when, wow. when that's your supper by check. Mm, por eso. Pero, yo Pero super... lo que le... En vez de your supervisor, va a decir, va a decir your boss. Entonces, wow, when that's your boss, check all the things you do. En vez de your supervisor, sería your boss. Your boss. Your boss, exactly. Uh -huh. Jefe, your boss, uh -huh, your jefe. Ah. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Your boss. Mm. 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 Vaya. Pero entonces ahí, ese mes, ¿qué le puede cambiar a esa oración, a esa pregunta o a esa respuesta? Only boss, supervisor, es lo que va a quitar nomás. Ajá, va a poner your boss y después lo mismo que está ahí. Ajá, es que esa parte es la que no entiendo. Yes. Ajá, entonces, yes. wow, when does you find? Así que haría, check and the... All the things you check do. Check and the... Ajá, check. Mm -hmm. That would say the same. Eso quedaría lo mismo. That would stay the same. Mm -hmm. okay. When does your okay, boss check all the things you do? And then you say, actually, quién es B? Who is B? Es este Don Nelson. Ah, ok. Then he says, entonces él dice, actually, he checks, él revisa o verifica, cada cuánto lo verifica ahí. Aquí dice once a month. En la, en la. Una vez al mes, pero no sé en su caso cuántas veces hace revisiones o supervisiones el jefe. Ah, ok. Every day. Ah, then you say, en vez de once a month, you say every day. Actually, he checks every day. Mm -hmm. Esa ya sería la que me toca a mí, que es la B, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. B. B here. Okay. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Y luego la C sería, well, I am. To start. Ajá, para empezar. So, who is A? ¿Quién es A? Who is A? Hazel. Hazel. So, Hazel va a decir lo mismo acá. And what about you? Preguntándole a, ¿a quién? Who is the other? A Yesenia. Yesenia. Le va a decir a Yesenia, sorry. And what about you? What do you do, Yesenia, right? Yesenia dice, well, y luego ella, she speaks about her duties. Ella va a hablar acerca de sus tareas. Well, uh, well, um... Ajá, Yesenia dirá, well, I, y luego habla de sus duties. She speaks about her duties. Well, I go to the market every Saturday. Okay. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Bien. Entonces, perdón, yo me quedé bien atrás, me quedé donde le toca estar ahí, en la A. Ahora va Yesenia. A sus hijos. El ganado. <risa> <risa> sí. No, es que eso... <risa> ya le dije que el ganado solo el teacher dice que llega a desayunar arriba al trabajo. <risa> Solo, solo marca las ocho en punto y sale corriendo para el comedor. Ah, 
Solo a marcar Póngale. llega. Póngale esa parte que a los ocho llego. That, that, uh, Juan Carlos, that rings my bells. Eso, eso me suena a mí, parece que me ha pasado eso anteriormente a mí que llevo a marcar y al desayuno. Ajá, sí. <risa> no perdemos el tiempo. ¿Cómo, sea, cómo sería eh, entrego el reporte de ruta? O ¿Cómo se diría ruta en, en inglés, pero es para ir a un servicio a domicilio? Es the same, route. Route. A route. Route. Route report. She delivered the route report. ¿Ella entregó? ¿O yo entrego? Yo, yo. yo. Dice, I deliver. I deliver. I deliver. Ah, I deliver. okay. I deliver the route report. Ok. Yeah. Y eso se entiende como entregar la ruta a domicilio. Yes, because ah, delivery. Lleva delivery, a... ¿verdad? Yeah, from delivery. Viene de delivery. Ah, ok, ok. Y de ahí va el nombre propio. Exacto. O, o es en root, es nombre propio, se vuelve nombre propio, entonces en ese momento. No, es un adjective. En ese caso es un adjetivo, porque va antes del report. Se vuelve un adjetivo. Ah, perdón. Ajá. Route report. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Delivery. No. Eh, D L I B chiquita E R I E, ¿verdad? No, no, but delivery is the, the noun, but you need No, no, verb. correcto, no. Eh, how, how do you spell? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like that. D E uh, let me see D E L I V E R Y delivery. Ah, okay. but, but in this moment you need the verb. I deliver. Okay? With no Y in J. Yo entrego, I deliver. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ya. Yeah. So, did you finish? Or you are about to finish? Sí, a practicar vamos. Oh, In this okay, moment. Ok, perfect. Vaya, eh, Roisy. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Now we can start to practice. You start, Ember. Okay. Um, what do you do on weekday? Ale, your microphone is off. Nada <laughs> inteligente. I don't know. <laughs> Empecemos otra vez. Okay. Let's start again. What do you do on good day? Um, I start to work at 8 o'clock. I prepare the machine and operate a keep. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks uh, every day. And what about you? What do you do? Well, I supervise the production process and I make reports every day about it. That's so interesting. I <laughs> Mm -hmm. Again. Okay. Continue. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Jessica, what about you? Okay. I start homework seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. And I attend call phone every day. Estamos 
I did. Thumbs up. Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Right. Did you finish your conversation? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, perfect. Okay, you can practice one more time and then you you present. Okay, to the class. Yeah. Okay. So practice again, and you can help each other in pronunciation. Yeah. Te pueden ayudar en pronunciación. You can help each other. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Adelante. Okay. One more time. Hi, Edgar. What do you do on with day? Hi, Jocelyn. I build and check product and delivery merchandise and visit the 14 department. Whoa, Edgar. When do you visit all the department? I visit the department every day. Hey, Luis. And what about you? What do you do? Hey, no, 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 I go to the market every day. Uh, every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Uh -huh. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Uh -huh. la pregunta, what do you uh -huh. okay. What does he do? Y ella me contesta. Bien. Okay. Lo hacemos nuevamente. Repasamos mientras nos sacan del grupo. <laughs> what do you do on weekend? Weekday. Excuse me. I start in the hang of clock, check router, and check document. Wow. All right, did everyone finish the conversation? Did you finish your conversation? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Jenny, did you finish? Maria, yeah. Jessica, did you finish your conversation? Okay, perfect. Eunice, did you finish your conversation? Good, that's excellent. Jacqueline and Zenia, did you finish your conversation? Okay, perfect. Oh my God, that's pretty good. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? No, teacher, how can I say? Casi todos los días in English. How can I say? Casi todos los días. Uh, maybe you can say every day. Oh, I'm sorry, almost every day. Almost. Almost, almost every like day. Or maybe, uh, or, or maybe you can use a frequency adverb. Maybe you can say uh, usually. I usually. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can say generally or often. Uh, sí. I often. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Se me había olvidado, gracias. Yeah, it's okay, perfect. Okay, so it's time to present. So everybody will present, okay? Uh, everybody will present. For this activity, everybody will present. Todos presentarán, everybody will present. So let's start with Jenny's group, all right? So Jenny's group, are you ready? Who are your, your classmates, Jenny? Ember and Alejandro. All right, go ahead, it's your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. What do you do on weekday? I start to work at eight o'clock. I prepare the machine and operate equip. Wow. When does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks every day. What? And what about you? What do you do? 
Well, I supervise the production process and I make reports every day about it. That's so interesting. I attend people and reply home a place. Good. And do you like your job? Yes, I do. Finish. All right, that's perfect. See you the next oh time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, okay. So uh, very good, good conversation. So I can say, very well done. Muy bien hecho, very well done. Good job, all right, thank you. Le faltó el very good ahí, teacher. Sorry? Le faltó el very good. El very, very well uh, con very good le faltó ahí. Ah, uh, yeah, very well with very good. All right, yeah, it's true for the next one. All right, thank you very much for your participation. Now let's listen to Jacqueline's team. Jacqueline's team, are you ready? Yes. 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 Um, hello, Jacqueline. What do you do on weekday? I start to work at eight o'clock, check email and phone calls, and you, Brenda? I start to work at 6.30. I sanitize the corridor, I clean the doors and the window and the floor. Wow, when does your supervisor check on the team you do? They, they never check me, and what about you, Brenda? Every day, every time after I finish my activity. Oh, really? In my case, my principal check every month. That's it? Eso es todo? That's it? Yes, all right. Thank you very much. Good conversation. So I can say bravo. Great job. All right, so bravo, girls. Okay, good job. It's excellent. All right. Very good, come very well, as Juan Carlos says, right? Or very, very well with very good, I don't know. Right? So uh, thank you very much, good uh, presentation. Now let's listen to the next uh, team. Roxana's group, are you ready? Okay. Roxana, yeah. Okay. Um, Abigail, what do you do on weekdays? From Monday to Saturday work. I start to work at uh, eight o'clock, turn on the computer and check emails. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he check every day. And what about you, Juan Carlos Rivas? What do you do? Well, I check the email, I support I technical support, and I deliver the report route to the caro. <laughs> no, porque fue por eso. Finish. <laughs> Report, what can you repeat the sentence? Uh, I delivered the report route to the, the cattle. To the cattle. Uh, es que me toca a la mañana andar como que estoy arriando ganado para sacar a los técnicos <laughs> que se vayan rápido. Ah, okay. So you delivered the route to the cattle, al ganado. Right, sí. <laughs> And who is the cattle? ¿Quién es el ganado? Who is the cattle? Los técnicos que están ah, dentro todavía. Ah, sí. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Great conversation. Very funny for Carlos. All right, so I can say awesome. All right, good job. Awesome, guys. Muy bien. Awesome. What is awesome? Asombroso. What is awesome? Asombroso. Increíble, incredible. All right, thank you very much. All right, now let's see. Um, let me see who's missing. Ember. No, Ember presented, right? Ember presented. Oh, Loida, it's your turn. Okay, Jessica and Maria. Okay. Um, I start. Um, what do you do on the weekdays, Lourdes? Loida. 
Lloyd. <laughs> okay. Well, I go to my work um, usually at 6.30 a.m. And I I work to my ch ch children's every day at my work. And sometimes I cook or I do my lunch in the work. I cook, right? I don't know. Uh, and I do different activities in the day. I finish to work at three o'clock. And how about you? What do you do, Jessica? Um, I start work home seven o'clock. Um, I attend for comms every day, every check emails and reports every day. And in the afternoon have meetings with calling. Uh, Maria Elena, what about you or what do you do? I start my job in seven o'clock in my house. I have meetings in our team. I attend phone calls and attend my children's. And the night class English. Finish teacher. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, girls. So awesome for you too. Awesome. Good job. Buen trabajo. Good job. All right. Awesome. Uh, just in the last one, and the ultima, maybe you can say, um, I attend English class or English classes, or you can say maybe, what? I have, I have English class at night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So we are missing Hazel's group, right? Hazel's group. All right. Hazel, are you ready? Yes. All right, go ahead. It's your turn. Nelson, what do you do on weekdays? I study at 8 o'clock, check router and check uh, documents. Wow. With that, you back, check a day. I think you do. Okay, he check, check every day. And what about you? What do you do? Yes, Senia. Uh, well, I go to the marketing every Saturday. What does Hazel do? I start work on Monday and I check email every day. Finish. All right, good work, excellent work. So I can say bravo, okay, bravo, Hazel, uh, Elsa, and company, all right, and Jessenia, right? So bravo, good job, buen trabajo. So is anything missing? Me falta algún equipo, is anything missing? No, right? Everybody presented. Did everybody present? Jocelyn, did you present? Yes, right? El equipo de Ember. Okay. Oh, Ember's, Jocelyn, did you present? Yes, you presented or you didn't present? I faltamos, teacher. Ah, okay, go ahead. Adelante, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I start. Hi, Edgar. What do you do on with this? Hi, Jocelyn. I build uh, check product, delivery merchandise, and visit the 14 department. Whoa, Edgar, when do you visit all the department? I visit the department every day. Hey, Liz, and what about you? What do you do? Well, I start to work at 8 a.m. After that, I make a two call programs every Friday. Okay, Luis, thanks. You're welcome. Finished. 
All right, very well done. Muy bien hecho, very well done. Good pronunciation, very good. Okay, so, ahora sí todos pasaron, right? Did everyone present? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So I can say congratulations. Okay, uh, your work is visible. I can see you practice in the, in the breakout room. So the breakout rooms are to practice, right? And I just want to mention something. I want to mention something. Look. When you listen to your classmates, when they listen to compañeros, when you listen to your classmates, you are developing the listening skill. Están desarrollando su habilidad de audición en inglés. You are developing your listening skill. So listening to your classmates is important. And also, you can learn new vocabulary. Pueden aprender también nuevo vocabulario. You can learn new. Okay, Larry. so listening to others is important. Escuchar los demás es importante, okay? So that's why I decided everyone would present today. Por eso decidí que todos iban a presentar, okay? So uh, thank you for your presentations of the conversation. And before we go to the break, before we go to the break, I just want to, uh, I just want you to check this. Look, um, this is on page, 33, está en la página 33. This is on page 33. So on page 33, I have this, I will say agenda. I have this agenda on page 33, página 33, page 33. I have the agenda or I have Mr. Robles agenda. Mrs, sorry, Mrs, Mrs. Robles agenda. And in the agenda I have at 7.15, Meeting with the marketing department at 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. At nine, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. What is manufacturing process? Facturación, no? Mm -hmm. kind of. Sorry. Fabricación, proceso, ah, no, proceso de, de manufactura. Ah, proceso de manufactura, de manufacturación o de fabricación. Manufacture is like fabricar. Proceso de manufacturación. Eh, ah, proceso de manufacturación o de eh, fabricación. Manufacturing process. Proceso okay, de, fabrica, de fabricación. Ah, exactly. 12. A 12 workshops launch. What is workshop? Cafetería, ¿no? Mm, workshop. Workshop. ¿Any idea? Workshops lunch. Sería como personal o, o empleado. Tienda de trabajo. Look, listen. Uh, maybe you can say, uh, today... Comedor de empleado. Sorry? Comedor de empleado. Me, kind of. Okay, so listen. Listen to my example. I can say, okay, workshop Cafetín? is, no. listen, listen, listen to my examples, listen, listen first, listen, okay. workshop, workshop is like a process in which you learn new things, maybe you can say we have a workshop about what, about production, about quality control, It's to learn new things, para aprender nuevas cosas, to learn new things. So a workshop is to learn new things. It's like a training. It's como un training. So what is workshop? Un taller. Exactly. So workshop is taller. Okay? So workshop is taller. Let's continue. 145. 145. Second part of the workshop. Okay? And 555. Send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez. New secretary and leave. Leave, right? Leave, leave, and leave. All right. So look, in this moment, read the agenda, read the information from the agenda, and answer the questions on exercise three. Y contesta las preguntas del ejercicio tres. For example, what time is the video call with West Company? What time is the video call with West Company? At 8.30. At 8.30. So 
In the answer, you write at 8.30, a las 8.30, at 8.30, all right? So answer the three questions. Contestemos las tres preguntas. Answer the three questions. Okay. Read and answer the questions here. This, yeah? Uh, what is uh, shouldn't? What is? Shouldn't. Or schedule. Ah, schedule. Schedule is horario. Schedule. Schedule is horario. Schedule. All right, let's answer the questions. Contestemos las tres preguntas. Let's answer the three questions. This is on page 33, all right? It's on page 33. It's on page 33. Teacher, a mí se hace un ratito la señal. No entendí lo que significaba workshop. Workshop is uh, like a training. It's a synonym to training. Workshop training. Taller. Workshop. Repeat, please. Taller. Workshop is taller. Workshop. Ah, okay, thank you. traducir como capacitación, teacher. Yeah, training. Training is mostly capacitación, training, training. But workshop is taller because remember we have a difference, right? Training and workshop are different. Training is like many you are a listener. En el training normalmente somos oyentes, but in the workshop es más práctico, como que hacemos más cosas. We we do more things, okay? So there's a little difference. Hay una pequeña diferencia. There's a little difference in meaning, ¿ok? Mm 
The same. If you finish, leave a hand like this. Si terminan, déjenme una manito así, la de reactions, please, okay? So I see who is, uh, who has finished, okay? When you finish, leave a hand like Jennifer, Juan Carlos, and Maria Elena, right? So leave a hand like this. Déjenme una manita así cuando termine. All right, thank you very much. Jennifer, Juan Carlos, Roxana, Ricardo, Elena, Loida, and Alejandro. Thank you very much. Oh, and Abigail. Is the other hand, Abigail. Is the hand like this. <laughs> oh, Amber finished too, right? Very good. Okay, I'll give you like uh, one more minute. Okay, two minutes or I'll give you one more minute. So we continue with the, with the break. Oh, thank you, Jessica. And here Jessica finished too. Is the other hand, Jessica. Is the hand like this. Es la manito que está así. Is the hand like this. Raise hand, it says. Levantar la mano, raise hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, tuve un inconveniente y será que en el receso me puedo tomar unos minutitos. Uh, yeah, sure, quickly. Mm -hmm. Por lo menos unos 10 minutos. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's check. Revisemos. Let's check quickly. All right, let's see. Uh, Jocelyn, I have a question for Jocelyn. Number one, Jocelyn, what time is the video call with the West Company? Uh, at eight. Eight o'clock. Eight thirty. At eight thirty. Okay. Thank you very much. 30. Thank you, Jocelyn. 30. Let's listen to um, Edgar. Number two, Edgar. What time does the workshop with the research department start, Edgar? At night. At? Night. At nine, exactly. At nine, right? At nine. All right, thank you, Edgar. Thank you very much. Let's see number okay. three. Number three, let's listen to, um, let me see. Let's listen to Brenda. Brenda, what time does the company close? Um, uh, the company closed at 5.55. Okay, perfect. Okay, at 5.55. All right, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Now listen, for a moment, I want you to look at the reading. Look at the reading and concentrate on the reading. And I will ask you questions, okay? Concentrense en la lectura y le voy a hacer preguntas. Otras preguntas. I will ask you other questions. So please, go to the reading. Concentrate on the reading. Question number one. If you have the answer, please raise your hands. If you have the answer, please raise your hands. And I will uh, give you the chance to participate. Okay? So let's see. Question number one. What time is the workshop's lunch? What time is the workshop's lunch? Okay, let's see, Amber. Uh, at 12. At 12, all right, excellent. That's very good, at 12, all right. Um, let me see, second question. What time does the meeting start? What time does the meeting start? Okay, let's see Juan Carlos. At 7.15. At 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos, very good. One more question. Um, 
What time is the second part of the workshop? What time is the second part of the workshop? Okay, let's listen to Luis Ricardo. At 1.45. At 1.45. Five. All right, 45. excellent. That's 145. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much for your participations. Okay, so in this moment, vamos al receso, pero que no se les olvide que son dos minutos. Llévenlo en su cronómetro si gustan, okay? Take it in your stopwatch. So listen, yo siempre lo pongo acá. I always put it here. All right, so for, uh, for me not to lie you, para que vean que no les estoy mintiendo, I will show you. All right? So here I have my chronometer or stopwatch. So are you ready? Let's go to the break. Yes. Two minutes. Time starts yes. now. Ahorita empieza el tiempo. Time yes. starts yes. now. Ser. Okay, corriendo. Two minutes. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. One question about the Hi. time. Yeah, tell me. Eh, existe otra forma de decir eh, ocho y media o 8.45. Yes. Many, many, there are many ways. Hay muchas formas. There are many ways, actually. Uh, okay, before. Uh, let's come back, please. Regresemos todos. Let's come back, please. Two minutes are over. Let's come back. Regresemos. Yes, uh, Luis Ricardo. Maybe you can say 8.45. You can say um, 45. It's 45 past 8 or 45 after 8. También podría decir, it's a quarter to nine. Un cuarto a las nueve. It's a quarter to nine. Yeah. Or you can say 8.45. Ocho y media. You can say 8.30. You can say 30 past eight. Or 30 after eight. Or you can say uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Ocho y media. Eight and a half. Ah, yeah. OK. Yeah. Different Thank ways. Different, different formas. Different ways. Thank yeah. you, it's okay, no problem. All right, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Um, Abigail is here. Brenda? I'm here. Elgar? I'm here. Ember? I'm here. Hazel? <clears throat> I'm here. Perfect. Jacqueline? I'm here. Jefferson? Here, Ryan? Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Jessica? I'm here, teacher. Juan Carlos. I'm here. I'm here. Oiga, Eunice. I'm here, teacher. All right. Luis Alejandro. I'm here. Luis Ricardo. I'm here. Maria Elena. 
I'm here. Um, Nelson? I'm here. Roxana? I'm here. Oh, Wendy? I am here. Yesenia? I am here. And Joseph? I am here. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so uh, listen, for, for the next part, for the next part, we have um, telling the time. Como decir la hora, telling the time. Uh, and this time, we will study only uh, simple ways to tell the time. So let's estudiaremos formas simples de decir la hora. Simple ways to tell time, because obviously, this is a basic English course, porque obviamente es un curso básico, right? It's a basic English course, okay? So let's see. Let me share screens with you and pay attention, please, all right? Pay a lot of attention. Okay, so here I have this information. I want you to check it out. Okay, so in this information, I have ways to tell the time. For example, I have what time is it? Number one, right? What time is it? You can say it's one eight. It's one eight. What time does the meeting start? What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive at work? At about 6.48 a.m. Now pay attention to this. Pongan atención a esto. At about. At about 6.48. What is at about? ¿Qué es at about? What is at about? So if I say at about 6.48 a.m. is alrededor de las 6.48. So I'm not sure about the time I arrive. No estoy seguro de la hora. Llego. I'm not sure about the time. Okay. So I say at about. Now, question number four. What time do employees leave? What is leave? ¿Qué es leave? Y dejar ir. Dejar, irse. Esto, irse. Dejar. dejar o irse, yes. So what time do employees leave? Del trabajo, right? From work. Okay, you say, usually around 7 or 7.30. Around. What is around? Alrededor. Alrededor is the same. At about or around is the same. So you say usually around seven or seven thirty, okay? So different ways to tell time. You say it's one a. What time is it? For example, in this moment, what time is it? In this moment, what time is it? Nine thirty. Eight twenty. It's eight twenty. It's nine twenty. One. It's 9.21. Aquí no decimos at about. Because at about is an approximation. At about or around es una aproximación. It's an approximation, yeah? So at about, not. So right now it's 9.21. Las 9.21. It's 9.21. Okay, now another question for you. Another question for you. Using the second structure. Usando la estructura de la segunda pregunta. What time does the class or the English class start? What time does the English class start? At the eight o'clock. It starts at eight o'clock. Exactly. It starts at eight o'clock. Now listen again. What time does the English class start? Okay, now a question for you. What time do you arrive at work? What is arrive? Right? Yes, arrive. Right. Llegar. Llegar, 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 llegar al llegar. trabajo. Arrive at work, llegar al trabajo. So let's see. Um, let's listen to. Let me see, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, what time do you arrive at work?
Jocelyn, are you connected? Okay, let's listen to Ember. Ember, what time do you arrive at work, Ember? <clears throat> at about uh, 8 a.m. At about 8 a.m. 8 a.m. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ember. Uh, now, in your work, in su trabajo, what time do employees leave? ¿A qué hora se van los empleados? What time do employees leave? Uh, let me see, Jennifer. What time do employees leave? Jennifer? At 5.30 p.m. At 5.30? They leave at 5.30 p.m. Excellent, that's very good. So I repeat the questions. What time is it? Debemos decir la hora exacta. It's 9.24 in this moment. What time does the meeting start? Or what time does the English class start? It starts at eight o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? At about 6.48. What time do you empl do employees leave? Usually around seven or 7.30. All right, now check this. I have nine clocks. Tengo nueve relojes de pared. I have nine clocks. What time is it in clock number one? Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. O'clock. Now let's listen to Luis Ricardo. Luis Ricardo, what time is it in clock number two? It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Excellent. That's very good. All right. Now let's listen to Hazel Sarai. Hazel. What time is it in clock number three? It's uh, six o'clock. Very good, that's excellent. Now let's listen to, uh, I think Ana Miguel is not connected yet, right? Let's listen to Jessica. Jessica, what time is it in clock number four? 11 o'clock. It's, it's 11 o'clock, very good, that's excellent. All right, let's listen to uh, Jesenia. Jesenia, what time is it in clock number five? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock, excellent. Clock number six. Nelson, what time is it in clock number six? It is, it is eight o'clock. Excellent, that's very good. All right, let's go to clock number seven. What time is it in clock number seven? It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Excellent. That's very good. Let's see clock number uh, eight. Clock number eight. Let's listen to Roxana. Okay, Roxana, what time is it in clock number eight? It's five o'clock. Very good. And clock number nine, Brenda, what time is it in clock number nine? Seven o'clock. It's seven or three. Three. Ah, three right. It's it's three o'clock. Very good. That's excellent. All right. Good. Now listen. I will say this in Spanish. Um, no sé si se fijaron que estamos usando algunas estructuras en presente simple para la hora, right? What time does? What time? Do, for example, what time do you practice English? What time do you check email? Do you do? Present simple, yeah? Or maybe what time does Brenda um, arrive at work? Or what time does Edgar leave work, right? What time does Edgar leave? Okay, so work, yeah? So we are using the simple present. Estamos usando el presente simple. We are using simple present. Okay, now is your time to work. Listen, for this activity, you will have like 20 minutes in breakout rooms. What are you going to do in breakout rooms? ¿Qué van a hacer en breakout rooms? Two activities, dos actividades. 
two activities, all right? Let me show you. Let me show you here. <clears throat> okay, listen. In your, in your groups, and sus grupos, in your groups, you will, let me move this first. Okay, uh, so in, in your groups, you will, um, you will go to page 34. Vamos a ir a la página 34. You will go to page 34. And on page 34, exercise five, you have some conversations, okay? In exercise five, you have some conversations. Página 34, exercise five. You have some, some conversations. So listen, you need to complete the questions based on the answer. Necesitan completar la pregunta basado en la respuesta. So check number one. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? Solo tenemos it start. ¿Cuál sería lo restante de la pregunta? En base a lo que hemos estudiado. 9 a.m. No, 9. It starts at 9 a.m. en la respuesta. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta aquí para complementar? What time does? What time does? Exactly. What time does? What time does it start? Ok. So, básicamente lo que van a hacer es poner en práctica lo que acabamos de estudiar para complementar la pregunta. Ah. So, pay attention to the answers. Pongan atención a las respuestas para que puedan complementar con la, pre con la, con la pregunta correcta. Ok. So, you have the answers here. Number three. In number four, this is the answer for the question. And number five. This is the answer for the question. Esta es la respuesta a la pregunta, ¿ok? That's number one activity. Esa es la actividad número uno. Cuando termine, when you finish, oh my God, I went too far. Oh. Yes, two activities. Two activities. Second activity, segunda actividad, second activity. Oh, before, antes de, before that. Do you have any question about this activity? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de esa actividad? You need to create the question. Necesitan crear la pregunta. You need to create the question based on the answer. Yeah? Or is clear? Estamos claros. Is clear? Okay, second activity. En el mismo grupo. Second activity in the same group. Con el mismo equipo. In the same group. The second activity is... Listen. Van a crear... You will create your schedule with all the things that you have to do during the week. Van a crear un horario. Así como el que vimos en la página anterior, en la página 33. Create a schedule and write the activities. ¿Cómo van a hacer el schedule? For example, in my case, right? 7.30, 7 y media, 7.30. In my schedule, I attend students and I send guides. Um, then I continue. Um, 1 p.m., 1 p.m., I check the guides, or I check the students' guides. 3 p.m., I prepare my classes, or I do lesson plans. 8 p.m., I attend students again. So that's my schedule. Ese es mi horario. That's my schedule. Cuando ustedes terminen entonces de responder las preguntas, van a ser un horario. Yes? You can help each other. Pueden ayudarse mutuamente para que vean las actividades que cada uno hace y deben pedir la hora. You write the time. ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Están claros? ¿Ya? Yeah. Un question. Eh, vamos a escribir eh, las actividades y la hora. Yes. ¿De cada uno o de solo uno? O ¿Cómo? No. Va. Son tus propias actividades, solo que van a estar en equipo por si, okay. alguien no sabe, por si alguien no sabe cómo decir algo, los demás le pueden ayudar. The, the others can help. Oh, the idea is helping oh, each other. Okay. La idea es que se ayuden mutuamente. The idea is that you help each other with the vocabulary, yeah? Ok, thank you. Yeah. Ok, no problem. So, are you ready? Estamos, oh, Juan Carlos, do you have any question? No, es que veo que todavía está así la manita ahí. <laughs> ok, so uh, let's go to break of rooms. Vamos entonces a trabajar. Let's go to work.
María Elena. Hi, María Elena. Hi. No aceptó para ir a algún grupo o no le cayó la notificación. Se supone que estoy con Jefferson y alguien más. Lo que pasa es que tuve un bajón, no sé. Ah, maybe me... the internet. Oh. Ajá. Tal vez el internet, ok. Si en caso no la mueve, ya, lo voy a mo ya la voy a mover al grupo entonces, ok. Ok. Ok, I will move you to the group, all right. Punto. Sí, pero a qué hora cierra. Ah, pues sí, cabal. What time? What time? Is it? Ah, muy bien, muy bien. La primera está más fácil porque dice. What time? What time? Is after. after. Así es. Y estar. Employees, me dijo que se decía ahí. Employees. Pero, Esa me cuesta. En la primera ya que como la fue. ¿Cómo se dice? Employees. No, ese es. ¿Cómo se dice? Recruitment. Recruitment. Vamos a ver. Recruitment. Recruitment. Ah, recruitment. Recruitment, recruitment, yeah. It's like recruitment. Recruitment of new employees. Employees, uh -huh. Employees. What is the okay. place to start? I said, you are really? What time is the start? It's a start at nine o'clock. Okay. What time is that? La segunda era... What time do you? Porque dice genial. ¿A qué hora? ¿A qué hora llegaste? Algo así. Porque es Ari Mel. Ajá, como que uno de viaje. <coughs> Dejala o está opinando. Ay, no, ya te ves lo que me hizo y por eso me salió. Eso es Vaya. peor, hijo. No tengan perros. No, no, no. ¿La tercera? Ay, que me hizo un desastre. Let me for Vaya. the meal. La tercera. La tercera. ¿Cuál está? Bien. Que yo estaba copiando la 1. Ahorita es la 2. O ya habías copiado la 2. Sí, yo ya la hice. Yo ya voy por 4. Dice, deja de estar copiando. Ok. La 3, no sé. La 3 dice: Moren a Her. Aquí en la mañana yo tengo que ir a sacar fotocopias. Copy center. Need to the photo center. Open. Sí, open a las 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time does? What time does? Ah, you, you need to pay attention to the subject, right? Necesitan poner atención al sujeto. Pay attention to the subject. Is it singular or plural, right? Si está en singular, en tercera persona de singular o está en plural. Por ejemplo, for example, in number three, in la número tres está, right? You are in number three. The, yes. subject, the subject is photocopy center. Photocopy center. Ese es el sujeto, the photocopy center. Now I ask, the photocopy center, ¿está en plural o en singular? En singular. Es en singular, el centro de fotocopias. One center, un centro, one center. So, es como decir it. So we use das, usamos el das. Normalmente lo que va a cambiar en todas las preguntas es el do o el das. What time do or what time does? does. Depending on the subject. Dependiendo del sujeto, depending on the subject. ¿Ok? Entonces sería what time, what time, what time does. As Juan Carlos said, como dijo Juan Carlos, as Juan Carlos said. Y en la, en la uno, teacher, eh, sería what time does. Yeah. ¿Iría el verbo is? No, no, no. Solo no, 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 no. 
No, what time does it start? El verbo ya lo tienen, el verbo es start. start. Ah, ok. That is empezar. What time does it start? O sea que it se sería el, el pronombre. El, the subject. Ajá, el sujeto. Ah, el sujeto. The subject or the pronoun is the same. Pero está bien, está bien. What time it does? Yeah, what time does it start? Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. By remember, what? solo recuerden, just remember, si el sujeto está en plural, is do, right? Y para saber sí. que el sujeto está en plural, lleva ese, el sujeto. It can be, for example, the, the dogs. Con ese, the dogs. En plural, se, en plural uso el, el do. Do, do exactly, do. exactly, exactly. exactly. singular, yes. el does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias, Peter. Okay. Ah, pues la cuatro sería ese... Bueno, sí, sería individual, que solo nos vamos a apoyar. Que tuviéramos... Bueno, está entrando... ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? Ajá. ¿En qué uno? ¿En número uno, dos, tres? Ajá, que entre five. nosotros nos apoyáramos. Ya. Yeah. ¿El segundo actividad? Ah, for the segundo the second activity. The idea yeah, yeah. is that in, the, in this moment, you write your schedule of activities. Va a escribir tu horario de actividades, your schedule of activities. ¿En qué se va a apoyar? Por ejemplo, si Luis Alejandro no sabe cómo decir lo que él quiere decir, le puede preguntar a los demás. So you can support each other. Pueden apoyarse. In vocabulary or pronunciation, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, yeah. ok. Teacher, uh, other, other question is... Uh, solo vamos a poner la actividad que vamos a realizar o se va a complementar con oraciones. The time and the activity. No, 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 not necessary. Las oraciones no son necesarias. No. Not necessary. Just for you can put, for example, por ejemplo, pueden poner así. In my case, right? Just to give you one example. I can say 7:30. Um, attend students. Atender estudiantes. Attend students. Yeah. Um, 11. Send messages to students. 11 o'clock. 3 p.m. Prepare my English classes. 8 p.m. Give classes, start classes, or teach English. Enseñar inglés, teach English. Basic. Así de básico. Yeah. ¿Estamos claros? Are we clear? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Clear. Uh, did you finish answering the questions? Yes. 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 So in this moment, you are writing the, the duties, your, your yes. schedule, el horario, your schedule. Yeah? Yes. yes. Uh, La idea de que de estar así es que se ayude mutuamente. For example, if Jocelyn doesn't know the pronunciation or a word, so uh, Loida and Ember, you can help. Okay? Si Jocelyn o Loida no sabe algo, se pueden ayudar. Or Ember. So, se pueden ayudar mutuamente. Esa es la idea de hacerlo juntos. That's the idea of working together. Okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. How do you say, me voy a dormir? Me. I go to bed. What? Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Por aquí tengo una actividad. Espérame. Report. Report. Okay, thank you. No. Go to bed. Yeah. Teacher, se me va la señal. Oh my God. Este, así que si me pregunta o haz algo, no, no le respondes porque estoy, están en pausa. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Thank you. Um, um, 
platform. I checked the platform. It's okay here. Yeah. I checked the platform. I checked the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Google Classroom. What? Google Classroom or other platform? The uh, Drive, huh? The Gmail. Ah, okay, got it. It's an institutional platform. Okay. <laughs> You can say directly, I check Google Drive, like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I check okay. Google Drive. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, the document of teachers, no. Yeah, I check the teacher's documents on Google Drive. I check, el possessive, lo que estudiamos, the teacher's documents. Teachers con apóstrofe S, el apóstrofe yes. I check the teacher's mm -hmm. documents on Google Drive. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And then... Um, how do you say enviar reporte? Send report. Send report. Y no utilizo el I. I send the report. Report. Um, in this case, como están haciendo solo la agenda, no, neces no es necesario decir el I. You only say, uh, for example, what time do you send reports, Jocelyn? What time do you send uh, report? 8.45. Ah, then you write. Entonces escribes 8.45, send reports. Only that, solo eso, only that. 8.45, send reports. Y está bien que lo haya puesto así como en numeritos. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's your schedule, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Um, is correct to say I supervise the process and each time? Can you repeat because it, please? I don't have. I supervise. I supervise the process each and each time or each time only. Or but what do you mean? What do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? On each time or each time? No un tiempo específico, sino que lo hago en cualquier momento. Mm -hmm. Or oh, in whatever moment. You can say maybe at any moment. At any at moment. Any. I supervise. At any. I supervise what the production process. Uh, uh, then you oh, say I supervise process. the production process at any moment. At any moment. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.
teacher. Es correcto, uh, bueno, escribir I check second shower at 6.30 p.m. Sí. Um, oh. Maybe, maybe you can say um, I take a shower at 6 p.m. again. Ah, again. Okay. I take a shower at 6 p.m. again. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Are you about to finish? Are you about to finish? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Maybe you can read the, 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 the activities to your classmates later. Okay. Tal vez pueden leer las actividades a sus compañeros después. Sus compañeras. Okay. Please. Okay. All right. Perfect. Out. Uh -huh. Check el report. Aha. I check report. Raúl dijo ruta, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, route. Route. Pudiera route. decir, I take report route. Mm -hmm. Y en la hora, vea. Report route. Ajá, uh -huh. sí lo tengo yo. Yeah. Route. Check route. Oh, let me check. No, no estoy Or seguro si va con el. Report. Let me check. ¿Pero a qué horas haces eso? Oye, eso pues sí, es que eso es lo que quiero para poder decir eso. Pero ya no te falta uno. Sí, así. ¿Y a qué horas? Todo el día. Y no hay un Y tenemos que poner, el, va, por ejemplo, I start to work. Ya. Yeah. Y al check email. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ay, 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 ay. Ok. Pudiera, ah, teacher, pudiera ¿A qué hacer hora dijiste lo del email? Road, okay. night o'clock. ¿Qué hora? Jacqueline, ¿tienes una pregunta? Sí, I check reports, routes. At nine o'clock. Yeah, it's okay. Y si, ¿cómo se dice de, de 10 a 11, por ejemplo? You can say from. From. To. So it's from 10 to 11. From 10 to 11. Ah. Yeah, from y 10 to eh, 11. Eh, quisiera decir... O sea, no se vea. El llegar es una cosa y el empezar a trabajar son dos cosas muy diferentes. Entonces, yes. pudiera decir, I start words. Uh -huh. I start to work. I start. You can say, I start. Uh, you can say, working or to work. It's okay. It's ah, se puede, to work. Uh -huh. Working or work. 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 O incluso algunos dicen, I start work. Yo empiezo el trabajo, I start work. So you can say, I start working, I start to work, or I start work. Cualquiera de esos. Y si yo digo working, say, I start working to work, así. No, no, no. Only I start working. I start working at seven. At, okay. I start working at. Eh, um, que yo llego bien, pero no he empezado. Sería arrive at 6 yes. 30 a.m. Uh -huh. I arrive at work. Mm. I arrive I at work. At, at, in the at time, work. ahora. Uh -huh. I arrive at work at 7 30, for example. Just to give you one example, at 7 30. Mm -hmm. 
Y tengo que colocar siempre el IM o no lo coloco cuando sé que es cortado. Can you repeat the question, please? En este caso, cuando es cortado, o sea, cuando es, eh, ¿cómo decirle? 10, 15 en adelante, ¿es IM o solo puedo poner 630? No, you, you better, you better uh, be specific. Sea específica. Be specific. PM or AM is better. PM oh. or AM. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, thank you so much. La tercera, ¿cuál sería ya? Yo puse a uh, rib at work at 6.30 a.m. Y en la dos puse I stars working at 8 o'clock. Y en la tercera puse I take reports routes at 9 o'clock. Routes. Routes. Uh, route. Route. Exactly. The pronunciation, right? Is route. en la primera? Arrive at work at 30 a.m. I work at. <laughs> Ya que contó, vea. Did you finish? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. I guess we, we are not going to finish uh, activity number two, but we will finish activity number two tomorrow, okay? Just let's wait for the others. Okay, listen. Um, for activity number two, you have some duties, right? And you have your schedule. Tienen su horario y algunas tareas. Just keep it. Ténganlo ahí. Have it there. And tomorrow, we will do another activity with that. Mañana vamos a hacer otra actividad con eso. We will do another activity with that. Because the idea is that you, for example, share the activity in a classmate will ask you, what time do you? For example, imagine I say, imagine I say, um, I start work in the morning. I start work in the morning or I start to work in the morning. Then you ask me, teacher, what time do you start to work? To ask questions using what time, para, usar, para hacer preguntas usando what time. Or imagine I say, imagínense que yo digo, Imagine I say, en ya en el grupo, imagines que ya estamos en breakout rooms, yeah? Imagine I say, um, I check email um, in the afternoon, for example. I check email in the afternoon, and then you say me, teacher, I, and what time do you check email? And then I say, oh, I check email at about 3 p.m., I can say, yeah? And then I can say another activity. Um, I give classes at night. I give classes at night. And then you ask me, un compañero de mi equipo me pregunta, hey, hey listen, and in what time do you give classes? Ah, and I say, oh, I give classes at eight, okay? Así les van a preguntar acerca de sus actividades mañana, okay? Vamos a ir a breakout rooms en el grupo que van a estar trabajando o practicando. Ustedes van a decir una oración, una tarea de las que han hecho. Y un compañero le va a preguntar, what time do you do that activity? ¿A qué hora hace esa actividad? Okay? So, así que no pierdan eso. Keep it for tomorrow. Ténganlo para mañana listo. Keep it for tomorrow. And now let's check the questions. Revisemos las preguntas rápidamente. Let's check the questions quickly. Okay, let's see. Here. Okay, let's see. Um, let me, let me, let me check the list. Let me Luis Alejandro, Luis Alejandro, question number one. What do you have in question number one? Here, acá. Is Luis Alejandro connected? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, Luis Alejandro, number one. Really? 
And really, what time does it start? Excellent, that's very good. What time does it start? So the answer is, what time does? Okay, yes. what time does? Eso va en el espacio, what time does? Okay, thank you, Luis Alejandro, thank you very much. Let's listen to Maria Elena. Number two, Maria Elena. What time do you arrive? Can you repeat it, please? What time do you arrive? Exactly. So on the space, you have to put what time do. What time do you arrive? Okay, thank you, Maria Elena. That's very good. Okay, excellent. Great work. Let's see number three. Number three, Jacqueline. Tell me too, ¿verdad? What yes. time does the photocopy center open? Exactly. Me too. What time does? What time does the photocopy center, center open. open? All right. Thank you very much. It's excellent. What time does? And let's listen to um, Abigail. Abigail, I think she's connected, right? Let's see number four for you, Abigail. What time? Is it oh. what time do it, it? Repeat it, please. Number four, number four. Okay. What time do is it? What time do it? That? No, no, it's okay. What time do is okay. Pero ya tenemos el sujeto. We have the subject. El sujeto es restaurants. Uh, so, is it? No, no, listen. We only say, but what time do? Only that. Okay. What time do restaurants close here? What time do restaurants close here? Ya, ¿A qué hora cierran los restaurantes aquí? Ya, what time do restaurants close here? Okay, Abigail? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see number five. Let's listen to, um, let me see here. Elgar, number five. Uh, okay. Uh, what I do the open? Exactly. And what time do they open? All right. Thank you very much, Elgar. Thank you very much. Okay. And thank you very much, everyone. It's time. Ya es hora. It's time. Oh my God. Time really flies. El tiempo realmente vuela. Time really flies. So it's time already. Ya es hora. Now listen. Just to motivate you, solo motivarle siempre. Estamos a punto de terminar. Ya básicamente estamos en la tercera semana, ya estamos en el tercer día. Dos días pasan rápido, ¿ok? Y solo nos queda una semana. Siempre motivarles a que hagan siempre las tareas, ¿ok? Siempre hagan las tareas para que no se les acumulen para el día sábado. Esta semana no hay examen, no se preocupen, solo son las tareas nada más, ¿ok? La siguiente semana sí tenemos el examen final o la prueba final, ¿ok? Para que vayamos ya de una vez estudiando. Si faltan a una sesión, siempre vayan y vean el video, pueden ver el video completo. Ok, ahí ahora le suben el video completo a la plataforma. Tienen la opción de ver el video de la clase para que se pongan al día. Esa es la idea. Ok. So, do you have any question before we leave? Any question before we leave? Before we go to bed? Jessica, yeah. Uh, no, no. All right. So thank you for joining. Gracias por unirse. Thank you. Oh, Amber, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, in number four, uh, también se puede decir, what time does the restaurant close here? No, porque restaurants, si se fijan, restaurants está en plural. Restaurants lleva una S al final. Y si está en plural, lleva el do. Es como que digamos... Uh, they, for example, mm -hmm. is plural. Okay. Yeah, so it's thank the only way. It's the única forma. It's the only way. Okay, everybody. So thank you for joining today. Gracias por unirse. Thank you for joining. And solo se queda Roxana, I guess. Roxana, right? And the rest, good night and sweet dreams. All right? So good night, everybody. And goodbye. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night compañeros. Good night. Good night. Good night. The dreams. I like it. Does. Oh, nice. <laughs> I see you. Bye bye.
Bye. Okay, Roxana, now it's only you and me here. All right, so here you can ask any questions about the class, all right? Este espacio es para ti para que hagas preguntas de la clase. Si te has tomado notas de algo que, que tenga dudas about pronunciation, about grammar, about vocabulary, so you can ask. Yeah? Um, sobre el do y el das. Yeah. Dijo que do era solo para she, he, y it, ¿verdad? Das. Ajá, el do. No, el das. El das. Das es por he, she, it. Y do is por I, you, we, they. They. Okay. Um, en este caso yo tenía una duda con lo de ahorita que dice arrive at work o to work. Hay una diferencia si digo at work o to work. <laughs> Good question. Oh my God. All right. Many, many people say I arrive to work, but I feel there's no difference. Arrive to work. Okay, arrive at work. I think it's, it's the same purpose. Es el mismo propósito. Yeah. Ah, está bien. Entonces, con los dos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, quiero ver, Dave, ya había dicho que es do, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver por aquí en otra. Tal vez, maybe, maybe in that, tal vez en eso del do y el does, something mm -hmm. important, algo importante que, aparte de los pronombres, about the pronouns, right? Ya no viendo solamente los pronombres, not looking at the pronouns. Recuerda mm -hmm. el sí y el sí and and pueden ser sustituidos. No decir directamente sí y yeah. Aquí puedo decir and, por ejemplo. And in she, en vez de decir she, puedo decir María, right? Sí. Y siempre, siempre, siempre usaría el dance. O en vez de lead, podría decir the computer. Mm. Ajá, es singular. The computer, la computadora. Singular. So I could say, podría decir, what time does he um, study English, for example? Or what time does Ember study English? Es lo mismo. Ember es como decir he, para que usemos el das, siempre. The same for Maria. I could say, what time does she study English? Or what time does Maria study English? Siempre usando el das. El it. Podría decir, what time does it turn on? A qué hora se enciende? What time does it turn on? Or what time does the computer turn on? O tal vez suena raro, tal vez con, con, con ese ejemplo, pero aquí podría ir otro sujeto. Podría ser. Y si dijera computers, sería do. Exactly, porque ya es un sujeto en plural. Si lleva. Le, let me show you. Si lleva una S y si diría computers, ya digo do. Mm -hmm. For example, why do computers. Um, what? Fail, for example, ¿por qué fallan las computadoras? Why do computers fail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ok. Igual, para los demás pronombres, for the other pronouns, también hay algunos que pueden ser sustituidos, pero la, lo básico es plural. Plural en general, sujetos en plural. Pueden ser dos nombres. Ya. Yeah. Y el I, que el I no es plural, ¿verdad? Pero siempre uso el tú para el I. What do I do? Why do I speak English? Okay. Es el único que no es plural y el you para singular también. Pero siempre llevan do. Okay. Okay. You is like you. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Creo que en otra actividad también me quedé con una pequeña dudita. A ver. Um, yes. Y lo anoté para preguntar, pero. <laughs> Ahorita lo busco. Ya, yeah, it's okay. Take your time. Con negativo no hemos hecho preguntas, ¿verdad? Dacen. No, no, no. Normalmente bien, no es común hacer preguntas en negativo. It's not very common. Porque se usa un tema que se, que se llama tag questions, que es otro tema. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, para, para darle un ejemplo. Vaya, por ejemplo, en vez de decir yo, doesn't she play soccer? Or doesn't she arrive early? Por ejemplo, doesn't she arrive early? No llega ahí a temprano. En vez de decir eso, digo, la pregunta normal. Does she 
arrived at work Oh, perdón, aquí es al revés. Aquí es un error. Digo la oración. Ok, digo, um, she arrives. Solo quiero confirmar. To work early. Y luego le pongo una coma. Ella llega temprano a trabajar. She arrives to work early. Y como quiero confirmar, digo, aquí ya de último le agrego. Aquí estoy haciendo una, como que quiero confirmar si ella llega o no llega temprano. She arrives to work early, doesn't she? O ella no lo hace, doesn't she? Okay. Eh, bien, digo eso porque no es común hacer una pregunta directamente en negativo. It's not uh -huh. common. No digo que es imposible, pero it's not common. No es nada común. Ok. Lo yeah. otro es que como con el orden de las palabras. Por ejemplo, what do they have a meeting? Entonces, eh, también yo tenía como what, why does they have a meeting? Mm -hmm. A meeting, ajá. Yeah. Tal vez está bien si uso do y das, o sea, con they. No, vaya no. para el nombre. I, you, why do, why do, sería why. Ajá, en de uso el, el auxiliar, perdón, uso el auxiliar do. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, do I, why do I have to, to go to the meeting? Or why do I have a meeting at seven, for example? Or why do you? Uh -huh. Or, sorry, or why do we? Or why do they? Este do. Siempre va con esos pronombres que están acá. No puede ir el DAS, solamente tú en preguntas. Only do. Ok. Eh, igual, que, igual que el DAS. El DAS okay. siempre tiene que ir con el he, el she y el it. Así es el do también. Siempre tiene que ir con el I, you, we, they. Ok. A ver. Yo tenía otra notita por aquí. Con el orden de las palabras. Um, a veces siempre quiere decir lo mismo, pero el orden tiene mucho que ver con la gramática o se puede así. Normalmente si uso una oración con mala gramática se entiende, Ajá. pero no sería la forma correcta. ¿okay? Y por eso es importante la gramática. Un ejemplo claro sería el uso de los adjetivos y los nombres juntos y los sustantivos. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, imagínate que yo digo una empresa exitosa, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Yo puedo decirlo, una empresa exitosa, y lo digo así en español, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero en inglés, aquí hay una cosa que se llama word order, orden de palabras. Uh -huh. Yo diría, por ejemplo, en inglés yo diría, a successful company. Cambiaría el orden de exitoso y compañía. Una compañía exitosa, una exitosa compañía, cambiaría el orden de inglés. Normalmente siempre cambia en este, en estos casos, siempre cambia el orden de esas dos palabras en inglés. Una chica hermosa. En español está bien, pero en inglés digo a beautiful girl. El hermosa va antes de, de chica. Okay. El adjetivo va antes del. ¿Pero es que hay alguna regla de la gramática que dice sobre el orden o es así como por inercia? O no, por orden. Esto es respecto a, respecto a ese tema de adjetivos y nombres. Cuando uh -huh. uso este tipo de frases, siempre va así. Uh -huh. En inglés. Ajá, que cambio el orden del español a inglés. En Ajá. Este caso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero respecto a oraciones, en general, oraciones positivas o negativas, ya se sabe que primero va el sujeto. Luego va el, el verbo. Y luego va un complementos. Esa es como una, una regla general. Por ejemplo, yo digo I, el verbo, el sujeto de subject, el verbo sería study y el complemento English. Okay. I study English. Es como una regla generalizada. Podría ser I don't en negativo. 
Pero siempre don es parte del verbo. I don't study English. Yo no sí, estudio sí. inglés. Ah, mire, hay unas cosas que uno con, por inercia se las sabe, pero no es que sepa cómo explicarlas, pues. <risa> De ahí quiero ver, a veces me cuesta con la pronunciación un poco. Ok. Pero es por, por lo mismo del orden de las palabras que es, 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 es. Y esa va practice, es acerca de, se trata de practicar. Normalmente las canciones ayudan mucho. Cuando uno escucha una canción y va viendo en inglés y se aprende la canción, eso ayuda mucho en pronunciación. Ah, sí, porque solo escucharla en ocasiones no se entiende, pero ya leyéndola se entiende un poco. La idea es ver la letra. Ajá, ajá. Ajá, y aprenderse la canción, porque ahí se aprende pronunciación. Entonces la forma más fácil de aprender es como escuchando. Ajá, escuchando y repitiendo y produciendo. Ajá. Porque no solo de escuchar, sino que tengo que repetir también. Ajá. Yeah. Ah, pues creo que eso sería, teacher. Ok. Sí. So, thank you. Gracias. So, thank Gracias. you, Rosana, for joining. Gracias por, por unirte. Thank you for joining. And if you have any other question, you can ask. You can text me to WhatsApp. Puedes escribirme a WhatsApp. Si tienes alguna duda, no hay ningún problema. Okay, there's no problem. Aunque Bye. no conteste en el momento, pero en su momento voy a contestar seguramente. Sí, gracias. Ayer no me conecté porque estaba ahí como, bueno, ando así como que tengo infección en la garganta. I imagine. It's okay. okay. It's okay, no problem. The most important is that you connected today. All right? Gracias, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, goodbye and good night. Mm -hmm.